we go. Colin Johns to start us off. Let's play pickleball. CJ tries to go inside out, and he had him fooled. Uh, Deckel was in big trouble. <laughs> He's very happy that ball didn't come over. The other zero, big storyline here is McGuffin had an injury and had to miss a month of play. He is back and in a semifinal. Second and uh, I talked to him a little bit, you know, not perfectly sharp, but by this point zero, in the zero, tournament two. probably is early on, maybe not quite so much. So CJ lets two go and is 50% right. Hey, one out of two ain't bad uh, when you're serving, okay? Yeah. <laughs> one, zero, two. Side out. And I expect quite a bit of shake and bake from Deckel Barr and Tyson McGuffin. Both have quality drives, both good poachers. Zero, uh, one, so one. quick hitting points against the Johns are, are definitely something you want to look for. Deckel Barr has Second been serve. money on semifinal Saturday with the Ernie's. I, I don't care how many times I, I, I've seen it, uh, whether playing with them or, or in this Zero, one, commentary two. chair. It's just impressive every single time. the trigger catches the tape and thank you somebody for setting off your six o'clock alarm that you had to get up for after your nap. One, one, two. from a relatively low position yeah. and handcuffing one, Ben one, Johns, one, not one. easy to do. Yeah. Nice shot, Deckel. I don't think that clipped the tape at all. That was just clean. Second serve. Hit it harder, Ben. He was ready for something with more pace. Yeah, nice first volley after the drive from Deckel Bar. Tyson in a pretty good position in the middle of the court, but one, couldn't one, get a two. clean forehand strike on the ball. If you've looked at your paddle and there's like a little bit more of an indentation in one corner, you see that you've probably done with Deckel there and you use that as like a cane and as a push off. A lot one, of tennis one, one. players certainly do that to catch their balance. CJ jumped up in the air and the ball went right by him and stayed in. Yeah, nice shot from Deckel, and he is always looking to be aggressive, one, one, but two. even more so in the early going of this match, I believe. Point. I just missed the Tyson McGuffin backhand first volley and two, backhand counterattack from the kitchen line has really grown leaps and bounds. Couldn't come up with that one, though. Point. I think it was a decent look. It wasn't an obvious attack, but the ball sat up yes. just enough, and he had a nice little piece of court to work with. Just couldn't coax it over. Side out. Uncharacteristic miss from Ben on the forehand dink. One, three, one. Second serve. And Deckel throwing his hands up. Knows he has to make that third One, three, shot drive and give Tyson McGuffin an opportunity to do something. Yep. Side out. 
Just catches the line on that. And when you have two huge serves, maybe the two biggest servers other than maybe Ignatowicz and Ben John certainly rips his as well. And the big forehands, that's, that's a big opportunity for them. in the world was that, like 40%. Yeah, uh, you don't see the big man Three, go one, below 50% too often, but I think he did there. Point. Yeah, he is, he is really going for his shots and mixed results. It's not like he has uh, not had Four, some one, very two. quality offense, but quite a few unforced errors sprinkled in with that success. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Colin John's reaction too said so much. <laughs> that was disgusting. I mean, you want to talk about absolutely Five, one, two. blowing everyone's mind on the court. That thing was well in. the Johns brothers. Point. Wow, unbelievable reset from CJ, and then Ben jumps in. Well, that's the beauty of having CJ so comfortable in the midcourt. Ben can just slide right over there and look for offense when he gets a Seven, chance. One, two. Yeah, no bumper cars because he's nope. nowhere near the kitchen. Nope. Same situation there, and uh, this is ugly. Yeah, previous point, Ben goes backside Eight, on Deckel this time back to the middle, mixing up his spots nicely. Point. I mean, Man. they just, Man. they, they just, they, they suck the life out of you. Nine, I, I'm, I'm, I, I talked about PTSD earlier, <laughs> I'm getting it again. I'm getting brow sweat worked up in the booth. It's just, I've been there. It hurts. And we see a side switch here. Bar, who's maybe probably hit four in his life. He just doesn't play on the right very often. Oh, oh, we have a challenge. I thought he contacted okay. it out of the air, yeah. but apparently timeout. not. It must we have been have on the short hop. Of the in ruling, the in ruling puts us at side out, 191. We'll now proceed with video review. The official ball of the PPA Tour. So, his paddle Game couldn't point. have been closer to the ball that he called out, and here we go. Ten, Game one, point two. for the Johns brothers. A point. Ben's ready Game. to be this. Oh, this one's one. need to Game regroup. Two. Here zero, we go, zero, McGuffin two. to serve. Side out. Uh, that would be the exact opposite of regrouping. Yeah, I, I would agree, as that's zero, about six zero, feet one. long. Oh, 
Oh, Boy. my goodness. Uh, center field is absolutely closed. Yeah, Deckel had uh, one or two instances of success in game one, one with that one. shot. Uh, ben Johns has made the adjustment. Second serve. I love when CJ is more surprised than anyone. Just one zero I two. It. I had it. It was in the algorithm. And Ben's just sneaking in there to try and help his brother a little bit there. Yeah, and he's two, in zero, that two. locked and loaded athletic position. Easier to let the ball go out when you have that solid base. Side out. Oh, and center field was open on that last zero, backhand two, one. from Ben Johns. Couldn't find it, though. No way, CJ. Second serve. Wow. Gets so low and then goes back the other way. I don't even know how to pronate my wrist to do Zero, that. No, two, it's two. the perfect uh, pace of shot from Deckel Barr, but <laughs> Colin John's up to the task with a phenomenal scorpion. We saw that with Vivian David in some of her matches. One, two, two. Somehow CJ got lower than her. I don't know how. Side out. I mean, you can just tell he's he is ready to let that go out. Yeah. I mean, he, that, that pile is back early. found an opportunity to kind of poke that backhand as we've seen his, Three, see his wife one, Meg one. McGuffin on screen there, hoping her man can get something going. Second serve. Boy, if we go back to that shot, that look of concern on Kyle McKenzie's face there was intense. Three, one, two. Point. Four, one, two. Point. Threads the needle an inch inside the line, and we are at 5-1. Five, 5-1-2. One. Five, one, Point. Uh, ATP on the run. They got to call timeout. This is a mess. And this has been done with depth. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons. A new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion. That's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. Time in. 6-1-2. Side out. Oh, okay, so I thought it glanced off Deckel. It did not, I believe. Yeah, the crowd trying to get him going one, here after six, that miss one. from Ben Johns. They're going to play it with McGuffin on the left, though. Second serve. I mean, the counter from CJ. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, he used to not be able to hit that One, inside six, out two. into the middle as well as he does now. Now he can go everywhere. Side out. And again, just silky smooth, several feet off the kitchen from six, Colin two, Johns, one, one. and baby bro just slides in there with incredible offense. Wow.
complete Second chaos. Serve. Deckel forgot that they weren't unwinding the stack and ran into Tyson. Oh. Paddle clank on the other side. That was crazy. Six, one, and Ben's two. annoyed with Colin for getting in his way <laughs> <laughs> at point two. Point. Oh, geez, when it rains, it pours. As Deckelbar in a pretty solid position yep. to counter with the one-handed backhand clips the tape, goes right over. Seven, one, two. Point. You mentioned earlier about people talking about getting their dinner plans squared away. Man, this is a mission. Eight, one, two. Just, it's just a barrage. Just boys on the far end on their toes, Nine near one, end two. on their heels. Oh my. Side out. Great shot from Deckel there, although it looked like they didn't really have their signal squared away, but it worked out. Yeah, initially early in the point, but nice put away power from one Deckel on that last ball. That's what I was hoping yeah. to see more of is that big deckel bar drive and then the movement, athleticism, and backhand poach of Tyson McGuffin. They're going to need a Two, lot more nine, of that. One. Just wide Second from serve. Tyson. Yeah, and even when you, <laughs> when you get Ben going the wrong way or slightly fooled, couldn't come up with it. Two, nine, two. Point. Craziness off the tape there, and just a little positivity here. Tyson on See the left. all four players in this battle using a Yola paddle. Three, nine, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After after that one, and this is this is something now. It's more than something. It's uh, it's one more. I mean, you're not going to get a timeout from the other side. They don't do it, but you can see the future a little bit. Finger up, it was the no. thumbs up yes. from Colin yeah. Johns, though. Nice counter from Deckel. Within four. Five, nine, two. Side oh out. my, and that might have been something that could have seen six, seven, eight come from that. So they get within nine, three, five, though. One. Ernie to Ernie point. and CJ is there and we have a match point, match a point. play for a title point here for the Johns brothers. 10-5-1. And that point sprays in, wide match. and Tyson five. McGuffin and Deckel Bars and is now. When the world sleeps, Greatness rises, training rigorously and pushing boundaries. Ah! The next level isn't just hand, it's earned. Go next level, the 6 0 pickleball. Well, guys, it can be hard to be the last match of the night, but you came out here and played so smooth, so crisp, heading to Championship Sunday. How happy are you to be heading to dinner? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, dinner's the, the most appealing part probably, but uh, yeah, I definitely uh, felt like it was a clean match. Um, I'm looking forward to playing in a, in a few finals tomorrow. All right, and guys, you've been here many times before. This is nothing new, but what do you want to bring that's super special tomorrow based on the fact that you finished not in first place at the last tournament? Yeah, you always want to bounce back after you don't win the last one, um, but I don't feel like uh, it was anything too different than we that we played in the last tournament. I mean, we ran into a team that played well. We, we didn't play our best, and uh, we're here in the final again. So we're looking forward to compete for another goal tomorrow. Well, serious question now, because I really want to know how this came together. Colin, did you say, let's wear blue? And Ben said, I'll wear every shade that I own. <laughs> uh, yeah, so originally I had on a white shirt and a couple blue, which definitely looked better. But then he was like, OK, what color do you want to wear? I said, white. He said, I don't have white. And the only color we both had was blue. So now I'm every shade of blue, I guess. Well, somebody in the audience called you guys blueberries. And then one of our staff members was like, they're bloobs. They're a couple of bloobs. So that's been, that's been coined tonight. Congratulations to you both. You're headed to Championship Sunday. Dave, take us away.